Christmas in July is a great way to give back to the community, and that is what Great Harvest Bread Company is doing with the Salvation Army. George the Bread Guy is here. How are you, George? Hanging in there. How about you? You know, I'm doing great, and just so you know, yes, I am. Danced when I was young, and Nigel, I was a superhero of, uh, I was a hero, he's a hero of mine because of Ben Vereen, who I uh, am friends with, and he taught Ben to dance, and so I learned to dance thanks to Ben Vereen. All comes full circle. It does, doesn't it? And you're like, hey, whatever, Brad. You're like, let's talk bread. <laughs> That's how this whole show's been going. So, hey, let's just uh, talk. This is great. You talk about giving back to the community, and why not with Christmas in July? Um, and you said it perfectly. Like, you guys have been very lucky at this time uh, with everything going on to be able to, you know, be open, doors open, and serving the community. Yep. Uh, the community's come out in a big way to support us the past couple of months, and we wanted to, to give back even more than we already had. So. Um, we regularly donate day-old bread to the Salvation Army, among a couple of other organizations. We're like, why not do a food drive and yeah. make it a little bit special? So we decided Christmas in July, people needed something to smile about, memories of happier times or favorite breads or things like that. So we figured, why the heck not? Yeah, and so and it works pretty cool is where you can do it a couple of different ways, and that is one. Canned goods, and how does that work? Yep, you bring in three non-perishables or boxes or something like that, and you can get a free loaf of the honey whole wheat bread. Um, you can take and enjoy that yourselves. We are also offering people the chance to have it be a part of our Leave a Loaf program, where if you'd like, you can contribute it to the Leave a Loaf program, and we'll match all those loaves one for one for um, to propagate generosity further into the community. I like it, and since it is kind of like Christmas time, you brought out some of the Christmas favorites at this time, which oh, yes. is pretty neat. So start down there with the gingerbread so we have gingerbread because you can't have Christmas without gingerbread yeah we have the ginger snaps and the snickerdoodle Santa's favorite cookie our special bake yesterday was the cinnamon babka um, today just coming out of the oven right about now should be our cranberry orange and cranberry orange marmalade swirl um, so we've got a lot of fun things coming out of the oven this week that what about like fruit Christmas cake specials. what is there gonna be any fruit cake not quite yet that one takes at least a month to make properly so a Not month to make fruit cake. Yep. Why does it take so long to make fruit cake? So you have to soak your fruit in whatever alcohol you're using, whether it's rum or bourbon. We use bourbon. You can use a lot of different ones. Um, have to soak it so it gets in there really good. Then you bake it off, and in order for those flavors to balance rightly, it has to mellow for about a month. Otherwise, it just takes tastes like you're taking a bite of rum or bourbon. Well, that which, don't mind. I mean, we, yeah, we don't mind. Some that. people enjoy, but so, that's not. And, and this is the thing, and again, this might make it on TV, I'm not for sure, we'll see what happens on John Oliver, but I actually, yeah, guys, I'm sorry, I actually, oh, I need my glasses, where are my glasses? That's probably why I can't see very well, but I um, actually um, have a loaf of fruitcake that my brother and sisters um, and us, we've been trading back and forth for 14 years, because we that's lost the, the last one that we got. That's the running joke with fruitcake. Yeah. Um, our fruit cake actually tends to get eaten, but <laughs> faster. So this is great. Um, again, this is a great way to do it. Um, and again, uh, the bread that you guys are doing um, are available right now. Do you want people to put orders in, or what would you like to do? Um, orders are encouraged. That way, we can make sure we have enough for people. Say, people yesterday were turning out in bigger droves than I was expecting, so we actually ran out of the honey whole wheat bread that we were giving away to people. Um, towards the end of the day, which was absolutely fantastic. We awesome. collected more food than I'd hoped to collect over three days. Yeah. Or, so. it's, it's great. So orders are encouraged. They're not strictly necessary. Um, when coming into the shop, we do enforce a social distancing. Say masks are required. Uh, if people are still uncomfortable wearing masks or unable to wear masks, we are more than happy to pick up the, the canned foods at the curb and bring your loaf out to you. Um, whatever, whatever it really takes to... To make sure people are food, enjoying yeah. Christmas in July, which is really nice. Um, tell them how many years you guys have been doing this. Uh, August is going to be 13 years my family's been in this. That's awesome. George, thank you very much. Tell them uh, where you're located and how they can get a, some bread and to help out the Salvation Army. We are on the northwest corner of Warner and McClintock in Tempe. Uh, phone number 480-777-1141. You can find us on the social medias at Tempe GHB. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Perfect. George, thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. Merry Christmas. And to you. <laughs>